what up what up what up this is star with stars empress wisdom what's good aquarius this is going to be a reading for aquarius sun moon rising in venus as well as north node if you're new to my channel welcome i love to have you if you are returning to my channel welcome back let's go let's love y'all so freaking much um this is going to be for aqua sun moon rising venus or north node this can be involving a soulmate twin flame someone from your soul tribe family member friend anyone or anything involving love or in general in the next seven days for the sign of aquarius i am doing a special so um kid it while it's hot you know what i'm saying for the next seven days i'm going to be doing a special for reading so it's 777 <clears throat> For any question, I'm going to do a spread, basically give you some advice, give you some advice, some clarification, some insight, um, and it's just $7.77 for this week, alright, so go ahead and get you one. Um, if you'd like to donate to the channel, that information is down below as well, um, and very much appreciated. If you would like to... Um, I already said that. Sorry, Aquarius. My mind just slipped away from me for a second. But yeah, if you uh, if it does resonate, please do like, share, subscribe, comment down below, and let me know. Subscribe. All right. But let's go ahead and get into it. I feel like some y'all could be feeling distracted or something like that, or maybe somebody's trying to distract y'all. Okay. So be careful, Aquarius. It's also still Mercury retrograde till like November third i think and then a week after that you know we still go to go through a little um retro drama but anyways uh so i have a pre-channel message for you guys things are balancing out in a connection of yours so i feel like uh there could be you and somebody else things are balancing out here but someone has to say no to a past connection so you could be balancing things out or working things out with somebody, but in order to balance a situation, balance a connection, balance your life, um, stabilize your life, I feel like you guys have to say no. Just say no, Aquarius. Just say no. Just say no to drugs. No, I'm playing. But there is somebody who is like like a drug, like, you know, to you, or they feel like you're their drug or something like that. Somebody could be addicted to you, obsessed with you, and I feel like you have to say no to this connection, or somebody is going to need to say no to you. I don't know. It could go either way. Um, but it was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. So something was all a dream. Uh, something was an illusion. Somebody could have had you in some type of illusion or you could have had someone else in, uh, in an illusion. But it's time for you to make that move and it's time for you to move forward. All right. Not backwards, but forward. All right. So you could be dealing with a Libra, an Aries or a Virgo. So um, ooh, now I'm getting all burpy and hiccupy or what in the world? All right. Uh, yeah, I feel like you guys basically are balancing something out with somebody, okay? Or somebody's balancing something out with someone else. But someone is going to have to say no to a past connection because that could hinder uh, the growth between two people or it could hinder your own growth, all right? Or it could hinder someone else's growth. Dealing with you. Let's see, though. Aquarius overall. Be grateful, Aquarius. I feel like somebody needs to be grateful for the things that you have. Yeah, it's coming out again. Be grateful, Aquarius. All right. I feel like you guys definitely weren't speaking up for yourself or weren't believing in yourself in the past. Or maybe you are not speaking up for yourself now. Um, I feel like some of y'all weren't speaking up for or speaking up to someone in the past and now you have to cut that person off. All right. Yeah. In order to go after your dream. So I feel like this could be uh, you could be wanting to go after your dream goal. Your uh, This could be a, a, a creative endeavor, a business. Um, hell, whatever it is, I feel like you guys have a dream that you have been avoiding because you've been avoiding standing up to somebody. I feel like it got to the point where you could no longer stand up for, or stand up to this person. You just need to cut them off. Um, cause it is affecting your dreams and I feel like it could be a dream girl, a dream guy, or just a dream situation, something that you really want, something that you, um, are really passionate towards, but y'all ain't trying to stand up for y'all selves, you know what I'm saying? Or y'all got to block somebody so that you could do your chores all so that you could focus. So some of you guys may need to block somebody that you weren't standing up for yourself against in the past so that you can move forward so that you can focus on what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? Cause some, I'm the... 
Y'all got Libra in your chart? Because Libra also is... A, don't be letting people distract y'all, okay? Because I feel like you guys are trying to go towards your dreams, but there's somebody that's fantasizing about you or somebody that's thinking about the past with you. And I feel like that past was all an illusion anyway. So somebody's focused on an illusion. That's something that wasn't even real. Somebody could have had you in some type of illusion. But I feel like whatever it is, it's time to let it go. Um... <clears throat> oh, I'm hearing Chris Brown's song. It's never a right time to say goodbye. But I gotta make the first move, cause if I don't, you're gonna start hating me. So maybe that's some of y'all. Cause I really don't feel the way it once felt about you. Uh, 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 uh. Kinda gotta figure out what I need. Alright, Chris Brown is a Taurus, so some of y'all have Taurus in your chart. Yeah, something's not ascending because it's blocking somebody's abundance. I feel like something something can no long something can no longer continue, um, or a relationship, a connection, something like that from your past cannot continue because it's blocking you. Or you could be a block for somebody else, and they may have to tell you, you know, goodbye. You know. Yeah, I feel like as something is coming to the light, it could be surrounding a mother, um, it could be your mother, it could be somebody else's mama, I don't know. But something is coming to the light. I feel like some of you guys could be moving towards the limelight, all right? But you need to stop, uh, you need to transcend your mind's limitation or limiting beliefs. Oh my gosh, Mercury Retrograde be nice. So I'm like messing all up now with y'all reading. Um, Mercury Retrograde could be kicking y'all ass as far as communication, but yeah, transcend your mind's limit limitations. And allow your soul's light to truly shine. So light. I feel like you guys are meant to be in the uh, flashing lights, 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 lights. Do, 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 do. Okay. So some of y'all are go moving towards the limelight. Um, but you got to stop thinking that you're not. You got to stop thinking that it's impossible. You got to stop thinking that you ain't got enough. I ain't got enough money to do that. I ain't got, a, I ain't got this. I ain't got that. You got to stop thinking that shit because it's destined for you to go towards this dream. Okay. Whether this is a dream person, a dream relationship or whatever, or this is somebody else's destiny. And I feel like, um, somebody needs to stop, uh, you know, not believing in themselves or, or feeling like they're restricted. Like they can't do this because of that, or they can't do this because of that, or they can't do like, no, you just need to tell people no. All right. Or somebody needs to tell you no. But anyways, let's see. Dealing with the Libra in the recent past. All right. So there could have been some type of confusion between you and this person. Um, but I feel like it led to an ending. It could be an ending of a marriage, a relationship, a commitment. All right. Some of you guys um, decided not to move in together with somebody because there was too much confusion. I feel like between you and a Libra, Libra, there was too much anxiety and confusion and something had to be released, whether that was a marriage, a commitment, something. Yeah. And now somebody could be struggling financially because of this. So it could be you. <clears throat> you could be struggling financially because um, you were confused about letting go of a past situation. And again, like I said, some of y'all gonna have to say no to somebody, and somebody gonna have to say no to you, cause somebody it's affecting somebody coins. Okay, that's why this person got their hands out like help, help. I feel like it's somebody like you may consistently need help with finances because you allowed yourself to stay confused in the situation. So you could be wanting your hand, you know, holding your hand out for this Libra to help you financially or help you with something, but there was like, look, you could have been confusing this Libra because you was trying to, you needed to let go of some type of commitment or marriage or connection. Um, I feel like there is love between you and this Libra. This person loves you. I feel like you love them. Um, but I feel like, you know, you love this person, but you could have your hands out and shit, or, um, this person loves you, but they can have their hands out go either way. But I'm definitely getting that, that there was too much anxiety and confusion, um, about the past, about releasing something. But now somebody's struggling financially because of that, you know, because they were, instead of being, instead of releasing a situation, somebody tried to hold on to the situation and just confuse the Libra or the Libra tried to hold on to the situation, but be confusing. And now somebody needs somebody. Yeah, something was a foolish risk. So I feel like somebody is realizing that um, the reason why they got their hand out is because they took a foolish risk in the past dealing with the devil. And I feel like somebody could be praying now. Oh, I feel like somebody could be praying because they were confused or maybe somebody's like, oh, I was confused or something like that. But I feel like now somebody is realizing that they took a negative foolish risk for in the past to confuse uh, this Libra or um, to confuse you. Yeah, because now it's unbalanced. So somebody's finances could be messed up. Somebody could be making more money than the other. Um, somebody could be losing finances. 
All right, yeah, and somebody could be pissed off about that, okay? Or you could be losing finances because of a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. All right, yeah, some of you guys, it could be from a divorce. So some of you guys could be losing finances from a divorce, an ending, a split up of some sort. And I feel like you there could have been a lot of confusion between you and this Libra because of that. Or you were confusing this Libra because you didn't know whether, you, whether or not you wanted to go ahead and allow the situation to end. But I feel like it ended anyway. And now somebody's like, damn, it ended anyway. And I also am broke. And I also took a foolish risk in the past to delay this, uh, you know, something that was inevitable anyway. Now I'm broke and shit. You know what I'm saying? Somebody's like, damn. But now it's time to be organized. All right. So I feel like some of you guys weren't focused because you were focused too much on the past. All right. And now I feel like you guys could have all your focus on this Libra. Or this Libra could have all their focus on you because they could be realizing something. But yeah, I feel like between you and a Libra, I feel like something is, is unstable in the, uh, for the month of October or, you know, within the next seven days here. Somebody could be losing their financial stability altogether because of some bad news, because of an ending. All right. I feel like somebody you could feel defeated or this Libra could feel defeated because I feel like somebody was uh, destined to be or is destined to be financially stable. But somebody keeps, you know, taking some foolish risk, um, you know, looking at the past and shit. And I feel like the past is just mental confusion. So something from the past meant to hinder and keep somebody stuck is doing that because now somebody is stuck broke and shit. So I feel like. For the month of October, you guys could have definitely took a huge fall financially. Um, and in the next seven days, because somebody here um, could look some there's bad news because of an ex. OK, or a Leo Aries Sag. I feel like somebody wants to come through and start some shit uh, or there could be bad news or defeat because somebody tried to an ex or an interference tried to come through and cause somebody to have a blocked abundance or trying to. I feel like somebody. Um, Somebody's trying to block someone's abundance. Could be through spell work. But see, the thing is, though, I also, sir. So, yeah, someone could say, yes, sir, or something like that. But, or senior, okay, senior chief, or senior, okay, it could be somebody who is actually a senior, senior citizen or something. But, yeah, I feel like somebody's definitely going to be uh, getting some bad news in the next seven days here. It could be from a Leo Aries Sag. It could be from an ex um, I'm not going to say that, but if somebody's doing spell work on somebody to block their abundance, if they do it again, I feel like something bad could happen. Okay. And look, I ain't going to say what that could be, but if anybody's doing spell work on somebody or, you know what I'm saying? In order to block someone's abundance and trying to, you know, cause them death or defeat, I feel like it may, it may go back towards whoever that is. Okay. So um, don't be wishing death on nobody, okay? Because um, I feel like, yeah, somebody is releasing some type of commitment that was unstable in the first place. But it ain't it ain't going to do nobody no good for people to be doing spell work and, and stuff trying to... Uh, hold on. Fruit fly. Yeah, I feel like this is a bug, a pester in someone's life. Yeah, I feel like if you rebirth the situation, it could definitely end... They could definitely not be good, okay? I feel like there may be a Libra that may be bitchy towards you, if that, you know, if if that's the case. Or some of you guys, um, like I said, somebody may not have some good news coming in the next seven days if they if they were doing something evil. So this could be somebody that was um this could be somebody that was, like I said, doing spell work or somebody that was an ex that was doing some dirty shit behind somebody back. Something's going to end in defeat if somebody either returns to an ex or there's going to be defeat for an ex, you know, or Leo Aries Sag. Yeah, because somebody is emotionally immature. All right. Because you don't you don't want to return to them or something. So they're going to play games. Whew, if this is you, please don't. OK, please don't do that. I don't know what other sign. I don't know. I don't remember which one, but like it was like if you return to a situation or if you continue to try to do something, mm, dun dun dun. Um, I just heard six feet under. Oh my gosh. Uh, so some of you guys could be getting news about a death or something like that in the next seven days. 
I hope that's not you. I hope that doesn't resonate, but um, it could just be an ending, okay? Somebody's shenanigans could be ended for, uh, for good, but let's move forward from that, okay? I just hope nobody's trying to wish nobody death or wish nobody harm because whatever you do is going to come back to you, you know? Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and see if you're dealing with the Aries. All right, so I feel like uh, there was a brand new beginning between you and the Aries, but you could have been being a heartbreaker, all right? Or this person was being a heartbreaker. All right, yeah, because I feel like uh, somebody was being a heartbreaker trying to hold on to having uh, to working together with somebody, but I feel like someone's dreams are coming true. Your dreams could be coming true where this Aries is, and now I feel like, or maybe you finally realize this person is wish fulfillment. Um, cause you see them getting positive results in a business or an organization. So maybe now you're like, Oh, you know what I'm saying? Or maybe now this Aries is like, Oh, wait, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I feel like initially when you guys came back together, somebody was being a heartbreaker, but now I feel like somebody feels, you know, un realizes that you're a wish come true or you realize this Aries is a wish come true now. Oh, but I feel like it's only because somebody's getting positive results at a job, a business or something like that. Yeah, and they're lacking financially now. Okay, yeah, somebody ha is is toxic. All right, yeah, so this could be somebody who's, who is like a friend, a companion, a family member. <gasps> Excuse me. Somebody could be trying to come around being friendly again, but and I feel like that can make you feel conflicted. So I feel like this Aries sees that you're succeeding at something, or you see this Aries succeeding at something. Um, but I do feel I'm getting third party situation here, but I feel like somebody's prayers are being answered, but then in the next seven days, they're conflicted because uh, somebody that is pretending to be a friend is trying to return. All right. But this person is still lying, cheating. This person is still abusive. Um, this person is still rude as fuck. All right. So I feel like you're conflicted for no reason, or this Aries is conflicted for no reason because, uh, somebody's gonna pretend to be cool with you, but then they're gonna start trying to bully you and treat you like shit again. So I feel like if you return to this Aries, the same shit gonna happen. Um, or if this Aries returns to you, you know, you probably gonna do the same thing with Aries. Cause I feel like somebody is just a cheater by nature, or I feel like somebody is just abusive or narcissistic by nature. They like to come in, cause you, uh, make you feel conflicted. Um, but it's only because they see something working out for you, something that can benefit them or something. So now somebody want to come back around and be like, Oh, Hey friend. Hey friend. It's like, no friend. No, no friend friend no okay so don't let somebody come back around and you know conflict you mentally um with this rebirth bullshit yeah it's time to let go okay i feel like you are gonna let go especially because you know that if you let go of the situation it will help you manifest a new business a new opportunity a new job a new home all right yeah but i feel like somebody that's single is uh being overly emotional or manipulative um, and they're trying to rebirth the situation or whatever, um, cause they see that you're succeeding in some type of business or you're with your twin flame. Okay. Yeah. But I feel like this situation is unstable between you and this Aries. All right. Um, Virgo, if you are dealing with a Virgo heart, oh, okay. So there could have been heartbreak because there was a third party situation could be between you, another air sign, a Libra, a Gemini, and a Virgo. All right. And I feel like maybe you were hiding your feelings that you wanted to hold on to this third party situation. Um, you could have been being deceptive in order to hang, hang on to this situation. All right. But I feel like you realized that you were being immature in the past. All right. I feel like you realized you were being immature. Or this person was being immature and someone made the right choice by making a concrete decision instead of holding on to a third party situation that was just causing heartbreak. So I feel like somebody may be may have been a little immature in the past um, between you and this Virgo, but I feel like somebody is going to make the right choice here. All right. Yeah, it's a good move to make, to move forward. Because I feel like somebody just wanted to, was trying to confuse somebody because they wanted to hold on to a third party situation. But she was trying to hold on to somebody that you knew was envious. You know what I'm saying? You knew it. Yeah, it could be somebody in your family. That's why you had non-committal energy towards somebody about home or something like that. Because you were dealing with too much competition. 
because you are some of you guys have abandonment issues but a situation is proving to be completely burdensome and it will prove again to be completely burdensome if you return so i feel like you're going to emotionally detach from the situation which would be the right thing to do because uh between you and this virgo i feel like um it's the cycle has ended shit is just crazy it's chaotic it was burdensome it was a bunch of drama it was a third party situation for no reason all right somebody was just being immature and not letting go because they were afraid that it, oh if i let go of this person i'll be alone but you already got another person that you're stringing along don't do that all right yeah i feel like oh but but it's a solid relationship we solid we solid are you really because if you were really solid why would they be trying to mess up things between you and somebody else all right so i feel like you need to emotionally detach from the situation or somebody needs to emotionally detach from you um some of y'all need to emotionally detach from feeling abandoned feeling like oh i'm on my own i i can't talk to this person and i'm all uh, and everyone gets to talk in the family but me and oh and it's like come on boo you know you got a dream to you got a dream to catch all right instead of you focusing on yeah i feel like y'all be trying to be chameleons and shit and trying to fit in with people that you don't need to fit in with when you know what your dream is you know who your dream person is you ain't gotta fit in for nobody i feel like y'all feeling abandonment issues by people that don't even really accept you for who you are all right some of y'all also need may need some lotion okay um y'all skin may be hella dry also pop, you, you might need a little water too you know a lot of water all right but anyways let's get some advice All right, so some of you guys aren't realizing, you guys aren't meditating because you're not realizing that this is the end of this spiritual battle here, all right? This is the end of you lacking courage. So whether you want to see it or not, you're going to have to, somebody going to have to man up, okay, or woman up, yeah, and leave the past behind, okay? Because um, some of you guys need to travel to move forward towards your dreams or with your dream person. Some of y'all ain't doing music and shit. Y'all ain't doing music because you ain't leaving your damn past behind, you know you need to move away from this mess. All right. Yeah, self-love. Okay. Yeah, I feel like you guys could be feeling left out in the cold financially or whatever. If you're having financial issues, I feel like you just need to, you know, keep loving yourself and you will manifest a new home here. But y'all gonna have to write, okay? Instead of feeling sad about who you can't talk to, who you ain't talking to, who ain't talking to you, whatever. I feel like y'all need to focus on yourself. The reason why you have this solitude, the reason why you are on your own right now is so that you can love yourself to manifest a new home. Or if that's why somebody is walking away from you. So I feel like if you feeling abandoned or left out in the cold, pick up your pen and, and your pad and write, okay? Because you just, I feel like some of y'all focus on the negative for no reason because you're afraid. Um, but you don't need to be. Yeah, it was not on your journey to continue to deal with backstabbers, snakes, liars, and deceivers. So that cycle has ended, okay? It's also ending you being combative and fighting people because I feel like you fight your lovers and fight people that you are in a relationship with over family and stuff. And it's just like, why? Why? If this is your dream person or if this is your dream situation or y'all could be fighting your music career, basically putting your music career on the back burner because you want to argue with your family and shit because you don't want to feel left out in the cold. Like, don't do that. All right. I feel like if you feel left out in the cold, you feel, you know, abandoned or you feel like, oh, I'm alone or in the world or, you know, mommy and daddy aren't holding my hands anymore or, you know, cousins ain't there. It's time for you to write. OK, write how you feel. But you do need to surrender to the need to control the outcome of a situation because I feel like some of y'all need a new home. Some of y'all are wanting a new home. It could be your dream, but I feel like y'all could be scared. Don't be scared, okay? Being focused on the negative here, all right? But anyways, Aquas, till next time. Later.